Okay, here to talk today about a product called Thormatin B, which is uh, one of the most versatile ingredients I've ever used. Apart from being one of the best as well, I'd certainly put it in, in the top three or four of my all-time number one stimulatory effective ingredients that I've used within the carp baits uh, over, well, 35, 40 years. Um, Thormatin B, it's a natural protein sweetener, which is the sweetest substance on the planet. Uh, we include betaine into, the, into, into it at the early stages, hence the, the B, Thormatin B. It's around about 5,000 times sweeter than sugar, so that just shows you how powerful it is. What I like mainly about this particular sweetener, there's no bitter aftertaste, unlike a lot of sucrose and saccharin based sweeteners that, that are available, that have got them horrible bitter aftertaste. The, the Thormatin is extremely smooth. So apart from being very powerful, it's very smooth. It's multifunctional, so it's got lots of different uses, which some of which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, in particles, uh, use at the soaking stage, put it into the particles uh, around about five mil per dry kilo of particles. So you, you put the you put your part, you wet your particles, put your water in, put your thormatin in, give them a good stir, obviously. Um, soak them for 24 hours, then boil them. And what it does is it, it speeds up the fermentation process and makes them extremely stimulatory very very sweet anyone that's used thormatin b in particles and then use particles without thormatin b will instantly tell you the difference it makes a massive difference and i certainly wouldn't use particles without it uh, so you can see a little bottle like this using it at those levels at five mil per kilo dry kilo do you at least 25 kilo 20 to 25 kilo of dry particles you don't have to use it if you you know for instance if you're buying particles off the shelf you can still drop it into them so if you're, you're, you're popping in and buying a tub of particles that are already prepared, you can still drop it in, give them a good shake, give them a good stir, and uh, you will notice a massive difference in terms of the, uh, the taste factor, palat palatability, etc. Um, it's got a number of other uses, as I said earlier. Uh, we use it in most of our boily recipes, and if you're making your own baits and you're putting together a, a, a carp bait, uh, what it'll do is it'll take off any little bitter edges, particularly a lot of fish meals you get have got a real kind of bitter edge to them. So by using thormatin, you only need it to use it at like one or two mil in, in, into say three eggs or, or whatever, very low levels, just dropping a mil in and it'll just take off any little bitter edges. We use it in all our liquid foods and glugs for the same reasons, it just increases palatability. Obviously being a very sweet product as well, it's a very good preserver. Uh, so, it, you know, going back to the particles, it, it makes them last longer, boily glugs dip, covering it over as a, as a glug. I wouldn't use it neat on boilers, it's just far too powerful. You want to drop it into a glug first, or at least water, and then cover them over. So yeah, there you have it, Thormatin B. As I said earlier, one of the most uh, attractive ingredients I've ever used within the carp bait uh, world, and um, available from essential baits.